welcome back to my channel and this is a continuation of a beauty haul for the month of February and if you haven't seen the other half of this video which is all hair products and body and all that stuff then do check out the description box because I linked it there so now we will talk about the makeup I have so many stuff and I hope that I won't reach beyond 10 minutes so your attention span won't be um, affected. I know that some of you have the attention span of goldfishes. Let's start with, okay, BH Cosmetics. The reason why I shopped from BH Cosmetics, even though I didn't really, I didn't necessarily need what I got, is because they were having an awesome deal from the Valentine's promo that is three products for $19. And the three products are the blush palette, which looks like this. The seven piece makeup brushes that are contained in a hard case that I don't actually have with me right now but um, the hard case is really really good quality it's durable and definitely great for traveling and it has a lot of space in it although it looks small and it also came with a tiny tiny kabuki that is great for your under eyes I think so I thought it was bigger but it's so so cute it's like a midget kabuki all three for $19 is really awesome because the seven piece hard case in itself costs around like maybe less than 10 probably $10 or more and then the blush palette is over $10 I think and this is what the blush palette looks like so as you can see we we have here six colors and um, even though you only have six different blushes in this palette you can combine um, both and come up with a new color so you have a total of uh, nine and I did swatch these on my Instagram so go check it out I will link it in the description box but I really am enjoying this palette I've been using it the whole month and it's very versatile and I just like the color combination because they flatter um, light medium to dark skin tone As for the brushes a plus for the hard case because it is so durable and it's so sleek looking and the brushes themselves are super super soft I love touching them and I've used these two already. The rest I haven't yet. This was a really good deal considering that I got this as a part of the $19 um, promo. The Kabuki brush I haven't really used on myself or anybody else. I just kept it on my vanity but it's so cute and I have touched it with my fingers like the bristles I mean and it's really soft. So I have high expectations for that brush. Now let's move on to e.l.f. Cosmetics and I'm not really a huge fan of shopping on icelipspace.com because the shipping, I've had a bad experience with them when it comes to shipping. Um, also the shipping lasts a long time. I don't know, it takes forever for the product to get to me. They do have great products and they have great deals as well so I decided to get the essentials like the ones I've wanted to try for a while and along with the stuff that I really really needed because I'm running out of them so might as well get um, other stuff too right take advantage of the free shipping first thing I got are these brushes and they're tiny crease brush for a dollar and they're just great for precision application and um, yeah that's pretty much it they're soft they do the job well and they're only a dollar so who can really beat that Next I got the gel liner and they call it the cream eyeliner. I have heard good reviews about their cream eyeliner. So I decided to get the brown one because this was only $3 I think. Yeah, I think $3 and the drugstore ones are sold for $7 to $8. So this works really well for my eyebrows because I did uh, buy this for my eyebrows. And um, the color is great. It matches my hair. Um, so if you are looking for a nice gel liner to use on your eyebrows, if you want to try that method, then you might want to check out the e.l.f. cream eyeliner. This is really, really cool. The next thing I got is, of course, my setting spray. I got two of these, and this is definitely a staple in my routine and in my collection. I love these. These work really great. Although I did buy the Scandinavia ones, which I will show you in a bit. Um, next, I also got the the, the Maximum Coverage Concealer, and this is oil-free in the color Nude, because if you're in NC30, um, this is the color for you. Um, I do like this a lot. I have been using this. At first, I wasn't very sure of the coverage and how it set on my face, but the more I used it, the more I loved it. I think it's great for when you just want to wear concealer and then powder and no foundation at all on like normal days where you just want to look natural and fresh. Got two blushes. This is Peachy Keen and this is Candid Coral. And I'm sure you're familiar with the colors of these, but I will be doing a swatch for you guys. 
Now what I love about these blushes is that they're only $3 and they are very effective at giving you color payoff and they don't fade as easily and um, they have this really nice sheen to to it that that's just really nice and I do think that Candy Coral is a little bit similar to NARS Orgasm but obviously it's a little less uh, pigmented but I do think it's a very close call. Um, I, can't, I don't really know what to make of Peachy Keen, I don't know. Lastly I got the e.l.f. HD liquid eyeliner but I'm looking for a matte liquid eyeliner I haven't found it yet so I, if I want a really matte um, liner I just use the Maybelline gel liner so if you have any suggestions for a liquid liner that dries matte do comment below and let me know because I am definitely going to check it out Let's move on to wet and wild I showed these a while back and these are the new items from the line and I got them together with this random stuff because the BX on base had a sale and the Revlon Color Stay Concealer was on sale for like $2 and I've always wanted to try this. I just didn't want to pay the amount that it was sold for at the drugstore. So far I've been enjoying it. I actually have it on my face right now. Next is this Wet n Wild Cover All Cream Foundation. I think this is too dark for me and this is in medium. Um, they only have three shades which is kind of ridiculous because it doesn't really give you a lot of options. I will do a demo and a full review on this one, so stay tuned. I have two powders, the light one and the light medium one. Light one was supposed to be for my under eyes, but it wasn't light enough. Light medium is just okay to set on my face. It doesn't really do much for my oiliness, and but it does have really great coverage. Um, but I prefer the Fit Me Foundation Powder Foundation Finish. Now, these are my favorite purchases. I have swatches of these on my Instagram. I will link it down below. Uh, these are maze balls. These are called liquid lip colors. And once you put them on your lips, it's going to stay there. So, like, you're going to have a really hard time taking them off. Let's move on to Scandinavia. Scandinavia had an amazing sale where they had free shipping, plus, you have this travel makeup finishing spray with it. So, I paid $26 for that. Wasn't that bad trying it on right now, but what I do love about the Scandinavia one is that I, I can actually use this as a primer, so I don't have to apply primer. I just apply it on my face before my makeup, and then the makeup stays on really well. Like, I'm not even oily right now, and I have this on even, I think it was around 9 o'clock, like 8, 9 o'clock, so how many hours has it been? It's it's like, uh, it's like 3 or something. So, awesome! Now I've got the Flower Cream Stick Foundation, and Flower is actually a brand by Demi Moore, and what I, not Demi Moore, um, oh my gosh, I'm looking at the time. Um by Drew Barrymore and it is cruelty free and if you've been following me on Instagram on my videos and stuff I've been trying to go for cruelty free vegan um, uh, all natural products so I wanted to try the cream stick foundation surprisingly when you think cream stick foundation it's thick and creamy and has full coverage but this one surprisingly has a very natural finish I will be coming up with a demo and a review on this very soon so stay tuned and I will be purchasing more flower products like the lipsticks I'm very curious about the lipsticks and their BB cream is like freaking 12 13 dollars like you do have to pay a bit more for the flower um what do you call this flower brand maybe because it's cruelty free they don't test on animals so they test on humans I don't know why is it expensive next is the cover girl outlast day fabulous 3-in-1 foundation and a lot of people have been raving about this I will be doing a demo and a review of this I just I don't see the hype I don't get it um yeah if I do come up with a demo or a blog post it's probably gonna be super late because a lot of people have been reviewing this already but you know it's just my input I have very oily skin I have acne not acne but pimple prone skin with redness I have issues on my skin okay and it would be nice to get a, a different perspective and I finally gave in and got the Ben Nye Banana Luxury Powder and oh my gosh okay if you have very, very light skin, this is not the highlighting setting powder that you want. You probably want the pink-based one because this is going to appear very yellow on you. Good thing that I have light to medium uh, skin tone, so it it kind of just, it's forgiving. Um, but what I love about this, it, it really mattifies your face. It keeps it matte for a very long time, and so I love putting this on my T-zone and under my eyes, and it really prevents creasing on my under eyes when I put the, con the concealer there. So this is like for $10. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be using up this amount anytime soon. I also got the Ben Nye Highlight Wheel and I will be getting the Shadow Wheel. I thought this was gonna be bigger. Like, hello, this is so tiny. This is $10.99, I think, and I really thought it was bigger. Um, I haven't really used it as much as I want to, so I can't really say much, but 
it is full coverage. Next is the cream blush wheel. Now this is the size I was expecting when I got this one, but I was disappointed, but the, the product itself is great, but just like the size. Anyway, this is $17 and it's a cream blush wheel, like I mentioned, and it is multi-purpose. You can put it on your eyes, cheeks, and lips, and I just love that there's a variety of colors. I've always wanted cream blushes, and instead of getting individual ones, why not get this, right? That is it for my haul. Oh my gosh, did I reach 10 minutes? If I did, um, I apologize, and if I did it, yes! Don't forget to check out my DIY tutorial and my skincare routine prior to that, and stay tuned for more. Actually, I won't be uploading more videos because... Yeah, but stay updated, subscribe if you haven't yet, and comment anything you want to say. I'll see you. Bye.